Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel or back to my channel for some more Sengoku Basara 4 Sumuragi On to the drama route of our good old boy Yamanaka Shikanosuke So without further ado, let's get this started なるほど。この手紙ですね。手紙。え、いや、今はいいっす。えっと。うん。秋のお寿司家さん、6歳の証言。ここ最近、厳島の毛利元成が雨漁を狙って何やら企んでいたらしい。Alright, so apparently Oyasan the deer um, has some friends around uh, Aki, which is um where I guess our good old pal is situated right now. Um, they realize that uh, our good old friend, Mr. Motonari, is up to no good. So in order to find out what actually happened to uh, Amago uh, so we are going on a trip to find out and go all Sherlock Holmes on these people. And hello, Takakage. You kind of look better in uh, 4. I mean, uh, Samurai Warriors 4, not this 4. Yeah, speaking of which, this is one of the very first battles that I played when I got my copy of 4. Oh shit, excuse me. Um, yeah, apparently they took a page from the solar burning of ants from, I guess, uh, primary school experiments, because that's what's happening right now. And that, this is one of the reasons why this battle is not like, that easy to play, because uh, there are certain, well not this one, but... Like, certain type of solar attacks that they do on you would have you- like this one. I'm not trying to demonstrate how to get hurt, but I'm just saying that you can't even maneuver out because they would just like reflect onto you anyways. Oh, Jesus Christ. And the best solution is to take out the dude with the reflecting panel. Like, not the other one, but like these ones, because they're the source of light. So that's a thing. Oh, Oh god, just when I needed the one hit KO and I was turned back to myself. Alright, uh, okay. That's um, just basically every game, me being unfortunate most of the time. And our good old friend Oya-san's not feeling happy about it. Well, neither am I. Especially when I'm like stuck doing this, but hey. Oh my god, I can't I can't believe I'm fighting this bitch again because those of you who actually know I have a I don't know, I'm not a like um hard on serious person to begin with, but I am just Okay. There's a level of joking around in Kuso that a certain type of people could accept, but then hers is just I guess she is too into her own world, that's the reason why I don't like her because like, you could be, like, acting all kawaii and stuff. I like kawaii girls, too, but, like, if you're not listening to anyone else, that's just bull crap, because... Unless you're, like, as beautiful as some other characters. Not Kyomo Kumari, because she looks weird for some reason. But I guess, um... I guess, um, Saiga Magoichi looks okay-ish. Like, if you're looking pretty, and you don't listen to other people, maybe I can forgive you, but... Yeah, exactly. Who the fuck is Sande? Man, like who's Sande? Ah, 
ズバババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババババ Like, this part, she is definitely cute because Himiko, like, the, the、um, deity, tells her, not t o l d her, but tells her not to reveal the fate of、uh, Amago Terushisa. So,、uh, Haruhisa, not Terushisa, wrong person. But yeah, so basically, I don't know, man. Like, if, if you, I've been keen on spoiling stuff for you guys. Let's just say that in. I thought I, I wasn't. I thought that thing missed me. You know, fuck that. Like, totally, it's not gonna be a spoiler because I've played through this and you're gonna see this very soon. Her encounter with、uh, Motonari, and I totally under understand why Motonari went all freaking. Disgruntled because that is very annoying. Well, this part is funny.、Though. It's like、um, to punish a bad boy like Motonari, she decides to take away the sun, which is a critical source of his weaponry. And apparently, he's the son of the fire or son of sun, like S O N of S U N. So he's gonna freaking call forth the sun, and they're gonna have a battle of turning on and off the sunlight. Uh, no, it's not Sanji. But, okay. Wow, I just love Oya Sans with the play. It's like, according to the big emoticon, you'll know what's happening. Wow. He's like, he's like pitiful human being. Please bow down to the mighty power of the sun. So. I always think when you have these like epic like, lines and phrases, you should have had a little freaking、um, reverb going on, like, echo, but no. <laughs> yup, she is fine against you for absolutely the stupidest reason ever, like, hands down. I don't know what she, she's up to, but you know. But, uh, just another spoiler, spoiler in the anime, she's actually、uh, more frequently showing on screen and.、Uh, Equally, like, more disruptive i d i o t she was. Like how, oh, I could foresee your future and g o o I'll pretend I never see that. It's either like very erotic or very epic, because either way, I don't know how bad it's gonna be that she would say I would pretend I never see that.、So, you know? And basically, it, it gives you some, I guess, leeway to、uh, how fast you want to take down these different,、um, I guess, whatchamacallit, these fortresses. Because if you, it's constantly on like, solar power mode, you'll probably get scorched to death in midway because there's so many people with panels that respawn. Yep. It's gonna be a little, I guess, I guess, how do you say it? Like, Wizardry battle, sorcery battle, depending on what. Oh, so I'm too heavy to jump through the ledges. Is that what you're implying, game? I'm pretty sure other people don't want to get, like, barbecued. That, that's all, all the reason why they're not fighting to the utmost, but. Hey. Just believe. Oh, it's you again. Damn you. Well, I should better use this and take down these people ASAP. Oh god. I like how he's like talking non stop. He's like, you! Tell me who's the person that's invincible! Like, you take it now, you take it all. And I'm like, I don't know. I'd rather prefer the Samurai Warriors version of him because although he talks about Gi and I, like, justice and love so much, but at least he looks way better and I like, oh. Takazu g o because he has a way better voice. But then again, it's a crucial character. What do you expect from him? I better just like utilize his one hit KO on almost everything. But just when I try to utilize his stuff, 
I just change back to myself, so unfortunate on my side. Okay, although I have N1 Japanese, but I don't even know what's Kiko. I don't even know what's A. Well, A means hair! Like, just like a voice or something, but. Kiko, man, what the fuck is that? Could you please give me the kanji? Oh, yep. No more, like, fire up your ass. That's fortunate for my side. I guess. Uh, I don't think that's how you should say you're not doing bad in your plans because I think you cannot scorch me anymore, so... Is that not good enough? I mean, is that not bad enough? Sorry. Or you can call the sun again and the smaller panels could still scorch me. Oh yes, bitch, I'm gonna come and whoop your ass. Oh crap. Well, I apparently arrested 400 people to do further, uh, I guess, investigation. That's cool. Oh, shit. Kisamatono <laughs> Of course, of course, the camera angle through the underskirt. Oh, come on, what do you expect, man? It's JP. It, you have to get some underskirt or like up the ass or crotch shots moment. Right? Or maybe you didn't expect that and just ruined the thing for you guys. Well, now get used to it, man. There's, there's probably in many of the JP games I'm going to be playing. There's going to be plenty of crotch shots or under the skirt like camera angles. Oh, goodness gracious. But hey, we're finally here to find out where our Harusan went. You know what? I extremely feel sorry for Mori no Motonari. After facing that idiot of a lady, and now you're facing off a animal tamer and a very trippy animal tamer that's gonna bump the shit out of you. Go a full round rodeo on your ass. And... I like how his how he just like labeled him as Sande Motonari. Well then. See Sande Motonari. Oh, you already know we're gonna go to. Why is he calling for Zabi Sama? I thought he was not part of the Zabi game. Well then, this already hinted on when. Or where are we gonna go find our Harusha-sama? Because it's gonna be against um, the Zabi kill. Well, we're gonna go to the Otomo Zabirando right after this. I'm pretty sure that's how the story is gonna go because. There's only one person that's all like into the Zabi Kyo, so we're gonna. Do oh, hello. Yup, it's Otomo Zabirando Kaien, which is very underwhelming, but at least I get to do the roller coaster rise. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. Like, favor, or subscribe if you find it entertaining, and I'll see you in the epic final battle. Peace out.